Week number four for Claire I. My name is Jodie Bunting and this is our six week course where our slimmers trying to lose a stone. Hi Claire. Hello. How are you doing? I'm very well, thank you. What's the news on the scales? It's not great this week. Okay. It's put on one and a half pound. Okay. Do you know why? I've not had a great week. Yeah. Well, do I know why? Well, I've had a few sort of big meals um, sort of over the weekend. And I think obviously because I weigh on a Monday morning, um, yeah. it's not the best sort of weighing day for me. But I think that's where it's come from, um, probably the weekend. Because I've been quite good all week. It's come from, but um, and I burn about two thousand calories a day, and I haven't been going over that. So really, I should just stay the same. Like I don't know why I've put on. Yeah, like you said, I think it's probably just a temporary gain from the weekend bigger meals. Let's have a little look yeah. through your food diary and see if we can uh, spot anything there. So you've had the granola and the banana this morning. A yeah. ham and cheese sandwich for lunch. Yeah. Uh, and then a couple of digestive biscuits with tea. Sorry, yeah. in, with your cup of tea. What are you yeah, planning to have tea. for tea tonight? Um, I'm not sure, to be honest, but it's going to be... It'll be something with a salad. So yeah. I might have fish cake and salad, or I might have a chicken breast with some salad. Um, but it's not going to be a big tea tonight. Perfect. Uh, yesterday for breakfast was uh, a couple of biscuits and a banana. Uh, for lunch yesterday was tuna pasta and a freddo. And then in the evening yesterday, it looks like it was a roast dinner, beef and Yorkshire pudding. Yes, that was left over from Sunday. <laughs> so I got two meals there from my, my Sunday roast. <laughs> was the strawberry cake cheesecake uh, left over as well? Yeah. <laughs> uh, right. Sunday was granola for breakfast. Uh, for lunch was um, grilled cheese. Oh, grilled cheese sandwich, a banana and an ice cream. Uh, and this is where your Sunday dinner was on Sunday. Yes. Uh, Saturday was toast for breakfast, salmon fish cake for lunch with salmon and a sausage roll. That's a bit of a weird <laughs> mix. <laughs> Did you balance the sausage roll on top of the fish cake? <laughs> and then for dinner on Saturday, it was chicken tikka masala with some rice and a couple of glasses of wine and a packet of crisps. Then Friday, granola for breakfast, uh, digestive biscuits and some soup for lunch. And then fish cake salad again in the evening with feta cheese and a Twix. And then again, a couple more glasses of wine on the Friday. Thursday was yogurt and a banana for breakfast. Couscous and salt and vinegar crisps and a fruit bar. And then a mixed salad with chicken breast, feta cheese and some of that cheesecake again. Yeah. And then last day, Wednesday, was the yogurt and banana for breakfast, soup for lunch with some sweet chilli uh, crisps and a Twix, uh, salad in the evening with bacon and chicken, and then a couple of glasses of wine in the evening. Yeah. So what do you think we can do to improve this? Oh, I just don't know. I'm... It's kind of like I'm so good like in the week and then it's Friday night and then I'll have some wine and then and I don't know. Um, I don't know. I feel like I need to do something drastic to actually 
lose some weight. Do you know what I mean? Like do something like um, a juice diet or something, or I don't know. I just need to do something like shake, shake something up somewhere. <laughs> what about trying uh, keto? Okay. Yep. Yeah, I eat a lot of eggs and meat and vegetables. Have you ever done keto before? A long time ago. Yeah. Because the good news is you could lose, uh, you could get your stone off in two weeks. So that's the positive. Um, the, the bad news is that you'd have to cut out the wine for two weeks. Yeah. And obviously you'd have to cut out all the sugar as well for two weeks. But the good sugar. news is you can, can literally have as many eggs, as much meat, as much fish as you like, with obviously simple vegetables as well. So the, the best thing about yeah. keto is you don't need to starve to death. You know, it's not a really low calorie thing. It's more of a, you just need, need to eat certain amounts of foods. Yeah. What do you think about yeah. trying that? Yeah, I think I should probably look into that. I do, I've got to a point where I, I need to do something drastic. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Just just for yourself, really, just so you feel better about yourself. Because I know it's hard at the moment because you can't exercise and stuff. So it'll be good to get some results, not through exercise, actually through nutrition. So when you do go back to exercise, you will still yeah. feel feel good about yourself so what i'd like to do yeah. is i'll send you yeah. some meal plans and also some food lists that you can have with keto and what do you think we really go for it for two weeks i think i need to do something i've got no plans this weekend just decorating next weekend oh i'm going to a family um sunday gathering like carvery but that's a week on sunday so yeah practically got to but even then even if i go to um a carvery I, I could still carry on with that diet couldn't i absolutely a carvery is the best place for for keto so that's good right okay yeah fabulous right so i will send you a little message then in a minute with some food options uh, and then we'll have a little message and we'll go from there does that sound okay that sounds great jody yeah wonderful right great so i will speak to you next week but as i said i'll message you in a couple of minutes brilliant okay thank great. you all right thank you claire bye bye, bye.